we want to talk about what's going on here uh, with the city of Oakland and now Vegas and the Raiders. And what are we going to do here? The Vegas, the Raiders to Vegas is official. They'll continue to play to, in Oakland for two, maybe three years. Greg, <laughs> is this going to be like super awkward? I think they are taking fans for granted. I think with all of these teams that are relocating, they're counting on the fan base being there in their next city. This is taking it a step further. They're counting on the fan base in Oakland, which has been so diehard over the years to stick by them for one, maybe two, maybe three years. They're asking the fans to care at a time when teams are saying, okay, we care about fans, but we care about stadiums and revenue more. And I think that's asking a lot, and they might be taking them for granted. Yeah, I mean, breakups in general are awkward, and this is a high-level breakup. You're basically saying, we're done with you. We're going to another city that's going to give us everything we want, everything we couldn't get done here. I understand it's a complex business transaction. They tried they tried very hard, but it's a lot asking the Raiders fans to buy season tickets, to line up, to come to games, to spend money. This is an incredible fan base. They're nationwide. It's not just in Oakland, but it's, a, it's assuming a lot that Oakland is going to deal with this for the next three years with grace it's a tough spot for the fans to be in it's super awkward for them to know that the team is going to be moving but at the same time it's sort of like having a terminal illness so they have okay. a, a long time now to say their goodbyes it's not like the team is going to be just suddenly taken from them in the middle of the night and then just like playing at a stadium in nevada so you have a lot of feelings and emotions to go through and everybody can say what they need to say and then watch the team slowly slip but, away and here's here's the thing that's depressing. <laughs> yes, Very it is. depressing. Exactly. Breakups, oh, terminal oh. illnesses, not positive. And, and even if you have time to say goodbye, you got to say goodbye. And I, you know, I was working up like a list of pros and cons here. So here's some pros. If Wait, there, you were? Yeah. If there was, if there was one team in Vegas, the Raiders. That makes sense. At least you got that going on. Okay. If if this is the end in Oakland, they go out with a Super Bowl window. For the next couple of years, you should have a chance to to have a Super Bowl team. And uh, for Vegas, the Raiders in Vegas, that could be a billion-dollar thing. But a con, Greg, Okay. fans finish last, and that's a huge, huge con. And then just rough times in Cali. Fans outside L.A., you have San Diego and Oakland lose their teams. The 49ers play 50 miles south of San Francisco. It's right. a weird time right now in the NFL. So many tattoos are going to be removed <laughs> at this point. Uh, oh, yeah. Bad times. So many. Warriors also moving to San Francisco. It's tough for Oakland. And I think the timing that the team is good is – Almost annoying. They have been waiting, Raiders fans, that is, for this team to be relevant. For almost 15 years, they have not had a winning record until Derek Carr delivered one last year. Now it's a team that has a lot of pressure on them. I mean, imagine if they aren't a Super Bowl contender this year, if there's some disappointment. I think it's going to be tough on the players also being in this purgatory of figuring out where you're going to live, where you're going to play, and we don't really have answers. I right mean, now. the Las Vegas Raiders feels like something I would have cooked up four years ago in like a drunken <laughs> Madden spree. Right. Like it seems it seems utterly surreal and it's happening, but it's the movement in general over the last year plus right. is really rough on the NFL and they can they can spin it any way they want. It, fans in general are the losers here. Well, yeah. Commissioner Roger Goodell said that it's painful to leave and they talked a lot about how it was uh, a feather in their cap that they hadn't moved the franchise in 20 years. So now that it's three and 14 months, it's obviously feathers not. are gone. No, yeah, no, no, and no, it's the tough cap for center. everybody who's losing jobs too. I mean, you're talking about beat writers. You're talking about people who worked at the stadium. So it's not just the fans that are losing out here too. It's the people that are working and have jobs. Derek Carr had a really nice statement where he he expressed sympathies and said, you know, we're still always going to be part of Oakland. I thought Mark Davis also, Greg, made some points, you know, saying put it on me and understanding and and being aware, self aware that this is something that's very hurtful. I, I think if you're listening to him as an owner, I think he has a better connection with his fan base than most owners do, especially in this circumstance. I think he reached out to them in a, in a good way. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not that it's a soft move, but it's different than if you grew up an Oilers fan, and then suddenly your your identity, your team that you grew up with is gone completely. The, the Raiders fans, every sports bar I've ever walked into in my entire life right. since age 21 <laughs> and sometimes before that, there's always Raiders fans. I don't right. care what city or country. And you're, the Raiders fans are everywhere. They're an identity. If you, Mark, if you were an Oakland guy and the Raiders go to Vegas. Are you taking the plane? Are you taking the ride uh, to mm. go? I don't have that kind of cash. Okay. See, I'm going to be watching them on yeah. my television. <laughs>
Would you, would you I'm stick annoyed. by him, though? I'm it's definitely a, annoyed. It's asking a yeah, lot. We is. say that, Raider Nation, but Oakland is where that – that's the capital. That's basically where that nation is, and it's asking a lot, leaving for a second time for them to stick by him. I don't think you can just count on that, that people are going to – people say they're going to be flying in from Los it's Angeles. It's a short plane Let's ride, see. though, and it's not a bad Let's place see. to go. All right.